All right, Myron, the garage door guy tip of the day. I was doing a garage door tune-up, um, and I found a couple of different things. So right here, the Trax bolts were missing on the lower level. So I put a new nut here, replacement nut there. I went through and checked all the nuts and bolts up and down. So the door was popping, and the reason that the door was popping, if you look right here, you will see the garage door is split. So you have a split here. And on the next section, we have a big split there. So the customer was on a fixed budget right now. So instead of replacing the whole door, what we did is we took a strut, ran it across the whole panel on the number two and the number three to reinforce it. It's going up and down now. It's a lot quieter and it was an inexpensive fix. So instead of replacing the whole door, if it's a possibility to add struts, buy you some more time, go that route. So what typically happens is you'll start with like a bend or a crease like that and then just over time it turns into like a hairline crack and then it split and then the door starts to sag. So that's your tip of the day from Myron the Garage Store Guy.